Domestic violence is on the rise all across the country, and here in Connecticut, it has taken multiple lives just this year. Now, there's a walk to support victims and end silence in Middletown. It's happening this weekend, and here to tell us about it are Casey Harding and Gary Wallace from New Horizons Domestic Violence Services. Thank you both so much for being with us. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, it, particularly important as it is October 1st, we kick off Domestic Violence Awareness Month. We want to talk about all the resources. We want to get that out first to let people know what the resources are available from people who are tr looking to escape domestic violence situations. Yeah, I think the best resource is our hotline. Our t we have a 24-hour um, hotline that is answered by uh, advocates who are knowledgeable experts in DV resources. So we do everything from you know, counseling over the phone to safety planning, um, but we also do emergency shelter mm -hmm. and court advocacy. Mm -hmm. So we really have wraparound resources for anyone who needs it, and that number is 860-344-9599. And I always encourage people to call that line, even if you just want some information, if you're not sure you're experiencing domestic violence, there's mm -hmm. always gonna be a warm voice on the end of the phone um, to answer any of your questions and provide you with resources. Right, and so that's just really to have everything set up so there's no barriers preventing right. somebody from leaving a dangerous, violent situation. Uh, Gary, I want to have you talk a little bit more about how you got mm -hmm. involved in the walk. We were talking sure. uh, just in the commercial break about how just last week there was another horrific case of domestic violence against a mother and her children. And you were a former police officer in Middletown, and you I said was. you wouldn't believe how many domestic violence calls happen in just one night. It's true, and in that eight-hour shift, officers... And of course, many of them don't make the news. Right. Many of them do not. I mean, you just don't hear about them. But uh, I was a, a former police officer in Middletown, and I worked in Middletown for 26 years. And back in 2015, there was a horrific case, and it really shook the community. And uh, I made a call to the community health center where I work now. And one of my colleagues and I, we decided that the community really needed something to heal. Mm -hmm. And so we formed the first walk. And I don't even know that it was called to end the silence, but it was the walk. Hundreds came out that first year. Mm -hmm. And so we vowed every year, taking nothing away from other victims, uh, that we would do this walk every year to uh, end the silence and the mm -hmm. stigma of domestic violence. And so uh, little did I know uh, years later that I would retire and become an employee of the health center to which New Horizons is uh, one of our programs. Mm -hmm. And again, the walk is really to raise awareness, let people know the resources mm -hmm. that are out there. And as the name says, mm -hmm. stop the silence because people right. are afraid to talk about it, but there is no shame in it. You know, just no. call right. and get the help. Right. That's Absolutely. What, there are so many people looking to help. Right. Exactly, yeah. And just to recap the time, it's this Saturday in Middletown starting at 9 a.m. Yes. Do yes. people need to register at, beforehand or they just don't. show they up? They don't. They can walk up. It's at 19 Grand Street in Middletown. Ah. And they can show up and register, or they can register ahead of time at newhorizonsdv.com. Mm. And we're hoping to just get as many people as possible to, to really raise the visibility of the, the issue and the need for resources. And so come out if you can. It, it's a quick event, too, so you'll mm -hmm. be home and watching Netflix by noon if, <laughs> if you want to. Um, yeah. And it's a really important thing that affects so many families. One in three women and one in four men experience violence at some point in their life, and yeah. we need to put to stop to that and get help for those who, who need it. Absolutely. And it's also a great way if you're watching this and saying, I would like to help in some yes. way, it's a great way to go there and find out how you can volunteer and make a difference right. in Absolutely. helping somebody escape yeah. a really dangerous situation. Casey Gary, thank you so much for being with us. You're thank very you welcome. Having us. Great way to kick off Domestic Violence Awareness Month. We appreciate thank you, you so being much here. for having us. Thanks for your support. Mm -hmm.